All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores, and the NFL has officially approved a 17-game season starting this upcoming season. What? NFL's making a lot of different changes. Remember last year, we added an extra playoff team in each conference, and now we have a 17-game season. And there's a lot to analyze about this. First of all, starting with the history. In case you didn't know, when NFL was first created, in 1947, it was 12 games. Then it moved to 14 games in 1961. Then it moved to 16 games in 1978. And now we're up to 17 games played within 18 weeks. So I'm going to break down the 18 weeks and what that means for bye weeks and preseason. But it's basically gone up two games every almost 20 years, give or take a couple of years. And then we went 40 years without a major change. And then now we just went up one game. And again, the 17 games will be played over the course of 18 weeks. Now, this means that, first of all, for those of y'all who don't know, we will have a preseason. But now, instead of four weeks of preseason, we will have three weeks of preseason because they're going to basically take that extra preseason game, move the other games up, and then include an extra bye week. So now teams will have two bye weeks, three preseason games, and 17 games to play over the course of 18 weeks. And for those of y'all who care, 1,978 players voted, and the CBA was passed by just 60 votes. So, I mean, it almost didn't pass, but in the end, the 1,788 players that voted, the majority of them, by a small margin, won the 17-game season. You have big-name players like Russell Wilson, my Burgundy and Golds, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and even Alvin Kamara on Twitter recently who were against it. And I'm not sure if any of y'all know this, but all 32 teams have to play at least one international game once every eight years per the new enhanced schedule. So that's also something that was updated. And also, and I'm going to break this down a little bit and give y'all all of the matchups that will happen, but this 17 game season is basically AFC versus NFC. All of the games are cross conference. Also, minor detail that many people may not notice just looking at the matchups on the surface, but the added game in week 17, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be some magical nickname coined for it at some point in time. The added game will feature teams from opposing conferences that finished in the same place within their divisions the previous season. That's why we, the Burgundy and Gold, are playing the Bills. But the other matchups are Packers at Chiefs, Bears at Raiders, Vikings at Chargers, Lions at Broncos, Seahawks at Steelers, Rams at Ravens, Cardinals at Browns, 49ers at Bengals, Saints at Titans, Buccaneers at Colts, Panthers at Texans, Falcons at Jaguars, My Burgundy and Gold at the Bills, Giants at Dolphins, Cowboys at Patriots, and Eagles at Jets. I mean, and that's one thing that you can't really control is now that it's 17 games, of course, it's not evenly split eight home games, eight away games. Some of us, including the Burgundy and Gold, will have eight home games and nine away games. That's just how it's going to work. I'm assuming it's going to go back and forth next year, though. So as far as my Burgundy and Gold goes, we play at the Bills. So maybe next year, whoever we go against will be at home, and then the next year, the Bills will be away. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work. It's going to take two years for it to be fair. To get an even number out of an odd number, you need to add another odd number. So 17 games plus 17 games equals 34, and then finally you'll have 17 home, 17 away, if they care enough to do that. That would be pretty crazy if some teams just end up with 16 home and 18 away over the course of two seasons. I don't know. We'll see. It's a lot of minor details that they just haven't reported on yet like that. It's one of those things I guess we'll see next year. I haven't seen anybody address it out loud as far as the NFL, NFL PA goes and Adam Schefter and all of those guys. Pretty minute detail, but I mean, I do feel like that will matter. You don't want to look four years down the line and you've played five less home games than away games. So I'm pretty sure they're going to control that. So now when we do our season predictions, remember it's 17 games. And of course, now the postseason will go an extra week into February. So that's really interesting in itself. The NFL kickoff weekend will begin September 9th. And then the regular season will end Sunday, January 9th, 2022. The Super Bowl will take place February 13th in SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. 
the 2022 Pro Bowl will be played Sunday, February 6th. So again, all of the postseason stuff moves back a week. And the league's new media deal and the new collective bargaining agreement played a large role in this. Following the league's drop in salary cap for the 2021 season due to the COVID-19 pandemic from the previous season and how it hit the NFL's pockets, the schedule expansion is expected to partially lighten the effects of the cap drop to create new revenue so the salary cap shouldn't have to suffer as much because now this extra game will bring in more revenue for the entire nfl in total and that should help cushion some of the revenue loss from the previous season otherwise cap space will probably be even lower than it is right now but yeah man i'm really excited about this next season it's interesting that ryan fitzpatrick is going to be the first burgundy and gold player in nfl history to play 17 regular season games in one season i mean it's just it's really weird when you think about about it and it's kind of crazy that we're the ones playing at the bills that's going to be one of the toughest matchups but you never know maybe by then the bills have clinched their seating and probably rest their starters who knows that's going to be a big problem with the 17th game big time teams potentially resting their starters once their seating is already finalized before that 17th game and you already know how that affects fantasy football and everything fans yelling at players players saying that they don't care and all of that <laughs> It's always really funny towards the end of the season when it comes to fantasy football. That's why when you're drafting fantasy football, you got to make sure you don't get too many players of really, really great teams because when it comes to those fantasy playoffs towards the end of the NFL regular season, you're hurt out here with barely any players playing because you didn't took everybody on the Chiefs. But yeah, that's definitely something to worry about. I mean, it's really not going to be worse than what it was with the 16th game every season. There's always this last week or two where the top teams start the rest of their starters anyway. Now it just goes into the 17th game rather than the 16th. So it's not like it's a new problem, but it's definitely something to be aware of that this 17th game may not be the most exciting matchups. Maybe some matchups will be more exciting. Maybe it'll be two teams fighting for playoff berths even though they're coming from different conferences so it won't be as personal but maybe there happens to be two teams that both need to win that game and now we have a great matchup on the 17th but then at the same time you're also going to have other top teams resting their starters again expanding to 17 games doesn't make that worse or better it's going to happen the regular season no matter what but yeah man that's the end of this video just wanted to give y'all a quick synopsis and a few details about the new nfl schedule and how the 17 games affects a lot of things who are the matchups and all of that type of stuff so please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about this new 17 game season let me know how you feel about all of the, the details behind it do you think it's fair that some teams will play eight home games and nine away and some teams will play nine home games and eight away because it is looking like there may be fans in most if not all stadiums at some point in the regular season as the nfl gets a better grasp on the coronavirus that's what we've been waiting and of course man please like this video if you liked it if you learned anything please subscribe if you haven't hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification every time i release an informative video like this one every time i release a film session every time i live stream every time i release one of my mock drafts i have two more to go before the draft comes up late april and of course i will be live streaming rounds one through five for the draft and as always man i really appreciate all the support man everybody that donates to the channel Shouts out to all of my sponsors, especially the Pro Bowl sponsors whose names you see scrolling on the screen right now. Man, really appreciate all y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying y'all benefits. And shouts out to everybody that watched this video and made it this far. Really appreciate you. I'll catch you later. I'm out.